I bet that this song, Pound Cake, you know who this is? I don't. Mary knows. It's Nickelback, baby. I bet this song is about drinking or having sex or having uh, your pants are askew or you've got something pants in your feet. mouth. Or, what? Pants and feet. Pants and feet. Nickelback is, uh, they're here in Cleveland a uh, Wednesday night. That big uh, Nickelback uh, rolling out, what's it, rolling out tour, I think is what it's called. It's them and some country dudes. They got Brantley Gilbert and somebody else opening up for them. So it'd probably be a pretty big deal out there at um, Blossom. Wednesday night is that show. They are from a town called Hannah, Alberta, which is in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's like two and a half hours northeast of Calgary in Alberta. And their hometown has had to take down the sign that mentions that because it's become a safety hazard. It's a very small town. These I don't know if all four of them are from Hannah, but it is a town of about 2,500 people. And so obviously they've got nothing else going for it. Uh, so they put it on the towns that welcome you to Hannah, put on the signs rather that welcome you uh, to the town of Hannah, proud to be the home of Nickelback. That sign has been up there for 20 years. And uh, they're finally uh, taking it down because they <laughs> it's just become uh, too much of a, a thing, I guess. I don't know if some people throwing tomatoes at it. Uh, some people uh, uh, maybe taking pictures and causing problems. I don't, all Hannah Alberta wanted was to, you know, to have people know that that's where Nickelback was from. <laughs> And every town needs something to be proud of, and, and some towns don't really have much. You know, ever tell you about Wakarusa, Indiana, Bill? <laughs> town, of course, oh, uh, hometown yeah, of, of Gail stupid. Sayers, but also of a bovine superstar named Contented Linda Grace. But I digress. Uh, Hannah, Alberta, a home of Nickelback. Danny Povichuk is the mayor of the town. And uh, they said it was just causing too much of a security concern. Why, after 20 years, did they come to that conclusion? I don't know. They would have some people, um, uh, I guess, taking a picture and then showing it to their friend and saying, look at this photograph. Mm -hmm. He said, I never in a million years uh, thought that we would have feedback on the signs. I guess this guy hasn't... Uh, been on the internet for very long but I mean, there's feedback on everything now no matter how mundane no matter how innocuous some people will offer feedback on anything he says the town wants to redo the signs but basically everything in the town of hannah is draped in nickelback stuff all right they've got a curling rink there this is canada uh, they've got a curling rink, and it's just covered in, like, Nickelback tour posters and blah, blah, blah. It's mostly an oil town. It's mostly coal mining um, and uh, Nickelback-based tourism, I assume. But uh, they've got public murals. Imagine you lived in Hannah and hated Nickelback. You couldn't go anywhere without seeing these guys. Maybe it's, listen, nothing against them. Maybe it's just not your cup of tea. You know, maybe you're the kid in Hannah who wants to be a big EDM artist or wants to be um, Hannah Alberta's first drill rapper. And you're looking around, and you're like, everything's Nickelback here. I've got to get the hell out of here, which is clearly what the Nickelback guy said. We got to get the hell out of Hannah Alberta. Because when you're a small town, everybody in it, most people in it, uh, can't wait to get out. I love, I love going to small towns and seeing what their downtown looks like. Why is that? I don't know, because it's just so funny. Like, I, I grew up in Oberlin, and we have, like, a downtown, and it's a college town, so there's a, little, a couple bars, a couple— But a college town isn't as the I, same. Like, that's a I, small I, city, I, not a small town. I understand. Transient but, community. But the surrounding towns, like uh, Wellington and, like, LaGrange, LaGrange's downtown is literally—there's just, like, a statue. <laughs> there, or at least there was. I heard it that— Someone hit it or something, but there was just like a statue, and that was your downtown. You drive around the statue, and mm -hmm. then any direction you're going to the residential areas. So I just like to see downtowns of like small towns because it might just yeah, be but that's a college. Shop that's or, college town adjacent, right? What Lagrange? Yeah, 
Kinda. I mean, you don't need... I'm talking drive to the middle of nowhere, and there will be a town. Yep. Most of this country is the middle of nowhere, and um, those are the towns. Like, it was a big deal in my grandma's town, and I was a kid. I was probably maybe a freshman in high school. Her town got a McDonald's. That was a big deal because they only had a couple of traffic lights, and then they got a McDonald's. And then everything that comes with that, right? All the teens want to hang out at the McDonald's because there's, you know, they're trying to, uh, they're they're trying to get them down from the hills, not hanging out in the parks and the cemeteries all the time. There's limited entertainment options in small towns, so the kids were hanging out at the McDee's, like downtown Polk, (laughs) like that south south of Oberlin, go straight down like 58, and there's like Sullivan, and then there's a town called Polk. There. There's no downtown there. I mean, there's a place where the intersections meet, but there's, like, no downtown. Right. Well, if you have a Polk, this says has 310 people. (laughs) I mean, that's not enough people Mm -hmm. to make a town, so it's just going to be a collection of houses that are in, like, an unincorporated area or something. But, yeah, that's... There's a corner store, Polk, and deli, and that's, like, downtown Polk. A deli? Yeah. Like a Jewish deli in Polk, Ohio? I don't know. How am I supposed to know? Well, you said there's a deli. It says a deli, but how I know it's a Jewish deli? I think it's kind of implied. I mean, if it's a literal delicatessen, I mean, that's well, usually what you're hanging your hat on. A lot of Amish are down in Polk, so. It's an Amish deli. <laughs> an Amish deli. Fresh churned butter. Yeah, you go. Hezekiah's Meats. Dude, I miss the right. Amish. That's the one thing I, I sacrifice living in the big city. Is that the That's Amish one thing he sacrificed. The big no city Amish. Of Lakewood. The big city. <laughs> Well, still, like, no one's, there's no Amish knocking on my door anymore offering me cookies because I would give in every time. I don't think there was ever a time where my my whole family was like, no, we're good, every single time. Pies, cookies, a little Selling or offering? They were selling. Yeah. So they weren't offering you cookies. They would knock on our door. I remember, that was some of my fondest memories as kids. We would, we would wait just like the milkman, just like, ooh, the Amish are coming. There's the buggy down the street. And they would knock on our door and sell us stuff. When I drive through Michigan, like, I'm going to the Upper Peninsula in November. But it's like that, where you drive for 40 miles, and there is nothing around you. And then all of a sudden, the speed limit goes from 60 to 25. And you're like, oh, here's the town. It just starts out of nowhere. And then it's maybe two or three minutes through the middle of town. They're one little stoplight. And then you keep going another 40 miles. Boop, there's another little town. Yeah. I actually kind of like that, though. It's kind of where they get. Go ahead. I'm sorry. With the gas stations, they only got, like, one pump. Yeah. And it's just like And a guy old-timey. comes out and does it. Yep. But it's cute. Little okay. towns like that are cute. They got like the Christmas lights that go through the downtown. Some of oh, them are dilapidated. Well, I but. told I mentioned it, I think when we first came back, but we were driving through a whole lot of nowhere in Arizona and I finally had a gas station and it said fill up now cuz we're closed through November. Whoa. I was like, "Well, thank God. How we got there like 3 days before they were going to close." What's that? How can they survive that long? Because it's not an area that, you know, it's kind of off the highway, and it's probably just for those people traveling. I don't think it's, like, there's no town there. So it's not the town's gas station. I, I don't know. But whatever that, you are you going up to Mackinac Island? What are you guys doing? I am, there's a, a comedy festival they're starting up there called the, I think it's Stand UP, like Upper Peninsula Stand Up Festival. Hi, I yeah. get it. Uh, so, oh, uh, okay. Um, I'm headlining that. They're doing it in November. In November. Now, November. <laughs> it's the first weekend in November, which isn't bad. You don't really have to start worrying about bridges and stuff being closed up there until like January, February, when it gets windy and slick. Yes, because November it, it can. We had like 70 degree days last November. Yeah, it's winter in South America right now. It's 100 degrees, so mm-hmm. it, you know you you can't count on any kind of weather anymore. Uh, working out completely the way you'd like it to hey listen it wasn't just buzzard fest this weekend you know twinsburg had their big twins fest uh, down there where people from all over who have another person that looks just like them a doppelganger if you will a genetic uh copy copy Ah, I like the stories. Uh, Here's what I think. I wonder, because somebody was just telling me about this over the weekend, about how they had, um, they knew someone who had absorbed their twin. We've all heard these stories, right? (laughs) Dwight Schrute in the office. It presents itself in different ways. Some people will just be told that that's what happened. Some people will have something removed that 
is suspected to be a tumor, and it comes out, and they go, well, we got it, but it had teeth and hair. And that means that you absorbed your twin. My question has always been, could you just show up by yourself and say that you absorbed your twin? Because they have no way of knowing that. But that would indicate you have memories in the womb. Memories in the womb? How would you know that you absorbed your twin? No, they told you that. that You're like, I have this thing and I haven't had it removed, but they told me that that is the remains of my twins, whatever. Oh, I thought you said if you show up by yourself and just say, I yeah, absorbed you my twin. Yeah, you show up, right. With the th- tumor, you're saying. Or you just go, well, I had it removed, but I had a twin. Oh, I don't know. How would... <laughs> that I don't know. <laughs> Do they kick you out? I mean, does it have to be too... They're looking to sell tickets, right? So obviously they're trying to sell... To try and sell pairs of tickets. This happened this weekend. We did Buzzard Fest on Friday. Conceivably, there are people who went to that and then spent the rest of the weekend down in Twinsburg for the 48th annual Twins Days event. It's the largest gathering of twins in the world. You talk about a town that needs something. Twinsburg has this. And so all weekend long, you're, how they say, C and double. And uh, But, boy, people enjoy this, especially since a lot of the twins, you can be fraternal twins. You don't have to be identical twins. You have to look exactly. Obviously, the hook is if you have somebody that looks like you. It doesn't have to be that. That would be annoying. To have another person who looks like you? It's a built-in best friend. No, no, no. I'm not talking about – there's no point in being a twin if you're not identical because then you got to share a birthday and you get you have to share all the attention with someone. <laughs> What's the matter with sharing? What is this uh, What is this like, white least, hot hatred for sharing? At least if you have identical twin, you get all the perks of being a twin. Like, you know, you, you can wear the matching outfits, you know. Uh, there are plenty of twins, but I, I would imagine that most twins, there are plenty of twins who hate each other, so mm-hmm. having an automatic best friend isn't necessarily the case. But also, it's not worth the hassle I would think if you identical. were a twin, I mean, somebody people lean into it, obviously, but... I would think if you were a twin, you would really, really want to differentiate yourself from the other person. So my nieces are twins, and my brother takes them, my brother and sister-in-law, they go when they can. I think they turned 10 this year. So they've been to, like, a handful of these Twinsburg things. But then my nieces get along great. Like, from the time they're little kids, they're literally best friends. They play together. They're, I mean, it's built in. You spend your whole life with this person who looks identical to you. But, like, now that they're... Well, that's because they're identical. Now, if they weren't identical, okay, he says that's when it's not worth it to be a twin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's just like, I already, like, oh, I got a twin. I got to share everything. This person's in my face and in my space. He doesn't even look like me, so I don't you even You know get parents don't just buy perks. one of everything and have the twins share it, right? Like, they still... A lot of people they have have their own stuff. pants. I'm yeah. saying, like, you don't get all the fun stuff, like, get, get to dress alike. You know, you get to wear the same clothes as kids. You, you can still have... do that. But it's not the same. <laughs> because they don't look exactly the same. Yeah, they're not identical. <laughs> like, all all the fun stuff about being a twin is, oh, you comb your hair this way, I comb my hair this way. You know, you can That's be... the fun stuff? Yeah. I, feel I like, see. I feel like there, it's just fun to have someone that looks like you. You get to play twin games. You get to, uh, you know, sit What's a in, twin game? Like, you do something, you go to the class where your brother Sleep is. with each other's wives. Cody. Or, or like, here's what happens. Cody's, just a reminder, He's, Cody's up for best sports talker, not best twins talker. But no, what I'm saying is. be the other person and then see if your friends get it. Cody saw the two movies from our childhood back to back. Parent Trap. It takes trap. two. Yes, it takes two in Parent Trap, which are both twin movies. Let's trick our parents into falling back in love. Or sister, sister, bitch. And now you think, well, that was different. <laughs> sister, sister, and now you're all like. They were like grown women, right? This is and what sister, they do. Sister. They're yeah. like teenagers, but were they, I don't think they were identical. They're pretty close. Yeah, the teenagers. They're not Tamara fraternal, are, yeah. They're identical. They're absolutely okay. identical. They look different. They don't, I mean, they have different features. They're, 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 identical. they're identically yeah. hot. I know that. They're mirror twins. They're what? Mirror twins. What is mirror twins? Where uh, if one has a mole, it's on the exact opposite side on the other one's face. They said that. Well, they probably that's probably just what they called themselves. I don't think that's a genetic disposition, oh, is I, it? I thought that that was a thing. Mirror twins? That's, I mean, I, if they said it in their twins, I assumed it was Mirror wasn't image. Oh, maybe it is. Well, anyway, uh, they had that this past weekend, and um, I'm just curious what the fine print is on something like that, you know? Could you go down there because they say that if something awful happens to one twin, let's say you lose a twin sibling, they pass away. You know, they they say that mentally, emotionally, it's like a phantom limb, like you feel like a part of you is missing. 
Uh, but they don't have a way of telling if you show up and say, well, my twin passed away. They might go, well, why are you here? And you could just say, well, I like to be among the twins. I don't think there's I a I like rule. to be part of my community. Yeah, but there, there has to be. You don't be, have to be a twin to go to this. There, Anybody can go. Hmm. It's not like you have to prove that you were. I could go. You could go say, I would like to enjoy a festival today. Go with Pound Cake and say you're twins. Yeah. <laughs> What's that uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? With twins? twins. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I hate myself. God, so what's much. the name of that movie where they're uh, twins? No. Uh, twins. What's that one where he's big and the other one's little and they like look, they don't look like. But they big and little. Like... You're thinking of big and little. I just watched that <laughs> recently for the like first time since I saw it as a kid. I think it holds up. It's pretty funny movie. Oh, style. yeah? Yeah. It's not great, but it's funny. It's like a silly uh Yeah, I haven't comedy. seen it in a long My only experience with twins is dating a twin. Uh so I didn't have a great experience with twins. And plenty of people, it seems like, you know, it's like any other group of people. I mean, some of them are awesome and some of them don't get along with each other and Yeah. My twin nieces are best friends. But they do differentiate where like they one always wears her hair up. Like, always. Her hair is always going to be in a ponytail or a bun or a braid or something, and the other one always wears it down. So it's like, if you can't tell which one's Georgia or Olive, no, I don't know which one. There was a time. But they do that kind of stuff. I don't know how long it takes for my brain to register uh, to tell the twins apart because I had, there were a lot of twins in college. Like, I had some of my roommates, they were identical twins, and for like the first, I want to say two or three months, I didn't know which one was which. And then I was like, oh, my gosh, once I realized which one was which, I couldn't believe that I never, I, I couldn't get it right. And then they had friends who were also identical twins, and I still <laughs> couldn't tell them apart. It's so weird. And they were like, they look completely different. I don't understand how you can't tell them apart. I was like, I don't know why. Well, so, their personalities so, are different, so too. I, yeah, I didn't really get to know them at first. but um, <laughs> That doesn't matter, pound cake. No. I forgot. They're but, still fake twins. But, but I mean, when they do not. stuff like that, when they put their hair up in the bun, it helps. I'm like, okay, well, this one always wears their hair up in a bun. Or one of them always wears green. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, my brother can't tell them apart. My brother will look at him and be like, which one of you is Olive? <laughs> which one of you? <laughs> Tony, this is your, your ha, We're a name has tag. He, has he ever mistakenly, like, uh, All the time. P- punished the other one? Like, accidentally oh. give, given a spanking to the one twin when it was really the other that. one? I don't know about that, but he does. He will have to look at them or ask them to talk, or like how many times, or if they're just standing next to each other, back. Like, no, I'd be like, who. I don't. Me as a twin dad, I'd be like, I don't know who did it, so both of y'all getting whooping. Mm-hmm. <laughs> y'all, you I'm better. So glad you don't have parents. You better or tell, kids. or I'm beating both of y'all. How about that? <laughs> if he can't whip him, he can't watch him. Babe. Absolutely mm-hmm. not. And I'm beating both. Alan, I'm a man with a twin sister, and Pound Cake does not know what he's talking about. What? He does You don't miss out. It's not worth it to be a twin. Well, you, you need, to, you need like? to tell me what he's wrong about. All I mean, we, we've already assumed that. You've got to tell me specifically as a twin what you're talking about. You mean we you need don't to, want your birthday we, to yourself? Who cares? Once you're older than 10, who cares about your birthday? Be like, yes. Have you ever thought of it in terms of this pound cake? What a joy it is to celebrate another person. Be born at 11.59 the day before. Have you ever thought about what a joy it can be to celebrate another person? No. (laughs) That was so honest, Uh, too. It was so... I love it. No, I have not. Who am I going to? Jesus and and maybe Santa, but who? I'm talking about real people. Jesus was a a, real person? Come on. I know what you're talking about. How about uh, a sibling? How about your brother? If you guys were twins... Right? Oh God, we would not be friends. Why? We wouldn't be friends because we're we're. Uh, you want to talk about personalities? Like, and and my brother knows knows this. He has said this to me. This is not controversial. We probably wouldn't be friends if we weren't brothers. The fact that we are brother because our personalities are so different. I think that's probably true for a lot of people. Um, so siblings. I'm I'm happy that he's my brother. But if we weren't siblings, we would we would not run. In, we still don't run in the same circles. Like we have friends. Because we grew up in the same area, but our friends are not <laughs> each other's friends. Right. Um, Alan, what was that Schwarzenegger movie where he recalls something totally? Oh, uh, that one was called <laughs> Total oh, Recall. Oh, I thought that was oh, Terminator. <laughs> man, Terminator. That's the one. What's that one where he terminates? That's the one where he ends stuff. Mm-hmm. I've got to. <laughs> um, that was a bad one. That was a very that dumb was great. We're gonna that be We're going to be riffing on this for the next hour. 
Uh, if you want to text 35192, alancoxshow.com is where your pictures show up, and we'll be back. The Alan Cox Show. On our free iHeartRadio app and your favorite smart device. Just tell it to play The Alan Cox Show on iHeartRadio. From the Universal Windows Direct Weather Center, WMMS Weather. Showers and thunderstorms for your Monday, some strong to severe, highs in the mid to upper 70s. Showers, possibly a thunderstorm tonight with overnight lows in the 60s. For your Tuesday, a slight chance of showers and storms early, otherwise partly to mostly sunny. Highs close to 80. This report is sponsored by Duncan. Do you know the sound Duncan Ice makes? Of course you do. It's the sound of the ice randomly yet rhythmically shaking around the cup, creating the soundtrack to a perfect summer. It's the sound of summer, and summer sure does sound good. Try Duncan Refreshers, iced coffee, cold brew, and lattes. Duncan Iced. America runs on Duncan. Are you kidding me? Our own U.S. government is discussing UFOs, flying saucers, and they're everywhere. Are you kidding me? Man, your tax dollar's hard at work. Woo! Little green man, Mike, official denial of the motto here. You find a new Nissan that's on your radar, try landing that Nissan. Hi, I'm Brian Cox. I play Logan Roy, and if you want me, I will tell you to fuck off in a very uncertain manner, okay? So have fun and get in touch. Pizza Hut's Buy Pizza, Get Free Pizza. On August 9th only, buy a large pizza, get a free large one-topping pizza.